China has seen a cross-the-board improvement in its eco-environment over the past few years amid the country's intensifying efforts to spur green development. As an economic hotland in East China, the province of Jiangsu boasts not only towering skyscrapers, but also a vast land that remains untended. As the province has been continuously improving the natural environment over the past years, there have been more frequent sightings of flagship species, like the Davis deer on the land and the Yangtze finless porpoise underwater. But what does this mean in the sky? Now follow the camera of Xinhua Live to find the answer. Now we have arrived at the Yancheng Wetland Rare Birds National Nature Reserve in Jiangsu Province, and I heard that this is a paradise for very kinds of birds and as a habitat for migratory birds in the world. This reserve was put on the World Heritage List by the UNESCO in 2019. Now I would like to invite Ms. Chen Yaqing, who has been working here for more than 20 years, to tell us more details about the reserve. Hi, Mr. Chen. I know that you have been working here for so many years. So can you introduce to us the history of this reserve and how it goes now? Well, our reserve was established in 1983. It covers the area of more than 240,000 hectares and its kilometers is about uh, 580 uh, kilometers. Uh, we protected uh, such areas just uh, because uh, here is an uh, important uh, uh, wetland ecosystem and also a good uh, habitat for migratory uh, bird uh, represented by red crown cranes. Uh, they are um, wintering in Yancheng every year. But in the past, uh, both uh, local fishermen and uh, uh, wildlife lived on the wetland resources, uh, posting a bigger threat to local ecosystem. Uh, the reservoir was e thus established to better protect uh, to uh, the wider birds and wetland ecosystem. So does it work or I should say is the situation becoming better now? Yes, through our 30 years protection and uh, Environment education. Local people are aware of uh, the importance of maintaining uh, wetland uh, ecological balance, uh, and many people are earning a living by developing ecotourism. Uh, so, how many uh, birds, how many kinds of birds are nesting here, or even taking uh, trans uh, taking this place as a transfer station during their long uh, navigation? In our record, there are about uh, 2,600 categories animals uh, and uh, plants uh, living here with uh, 460 sorts of birds here, uh, represented by rare and famous red crown cranes. Every year, more than 3 million migrant birds uh, passing by would take a rest here and uh, nearly one million wood birds would live through the whole winter here. Now our reserve is an important station on the East Asia and Australia migration routes, one of the nine bird migration routes in the world. Well, Mr. Chen, you mentioned that the endangered red, uh, the endangered red-crowned cranes would always have a stay here, especially during the winter season. And for me personally, I have never seen this kind of species in my life. So today, I will see something different, right? Sure. Now we have arrived at the rescue and uh, breeding cent breeding center for red-crowned cranes. So let's move on. Okay, let's go.
Here we are. It's yes, I saw yeah. them. Yeah. This is my first time in my life to see these beautiful creatures. And, you know, in my mind, most birds should just be as small as a sparrow. And these, they are just so big and so beautiful and elegant. I think today is your lucky day. <laughs> this is my colleague, uh, Mr. Chen Weihua, an expert uh, of red crown cranes. Hello,你好,你好,陈主任。你好。你在这边工作是吗?对对。啊,您能给我介绍一下您在这边工作多长时间了吗?啊,我在1992年到这里面工作的,到现在大约有29年了吧。主要从事单年河的饲养与繁育
死亡的野生动物的死亡情况进行一个甄别。如果是有那个异常异常死亡情况的话，那么会呃对它进行一个专业的检测，防止异异禽异源异病的那个发生。第三个呢，就是在日常巡捕过程当中，要确保自然资源的安全，防止一些偷盗资源或者是猎杀鸟类的情况发生。So according to Mr. Zhang Tao, he's the、uh, head of the station. According to Mr. Zhang Tao,、uh, this workstation、uh, is consisted of nine workers who are grouped to、uh, do a routine patrol, and they need to find out the potential fire source. As the, since the weather gradually turns dry as the winter approaches, and once、uh, they find, and for another example, once they find、uh, a corpse in the reserve, they have to、uh, judge and figure out whether it is a natural death or it is a、uh, wrongful death. And also at the same time, they have to walk around and see whether there is、uh, behavior like a poach, and they have to. Prevent the animals in this reserve from being poached. That is also a significant work. In our everyday work, beyond the usual patrol and human patrol, do we have any tools or techniques that can help our work? Yes, we have. We have a radar camera and a radar detection system. Through these two systems, we can better monitor the movement of the animals in the reserve. 鸟类迁徙，呃，鸟类迁徙过程当中的一个路径，及时的掌握鸟类情况。呃，此外呢，我们管护人员在巡护工工作过程当中呢，会利用无人机，然后呃，协助更好的查看是否有外部人员对自然资源嗯、呃、的一个偷盗的情况。So according to Mr. Zhang, technologies like monitoring system and radar system are Already applied in this reserve to help them judge and know the routine flying routes of the migratory birds, and at the same time, drones are also applied to help them check whether there is behavior like a poach in this reserve. I miss them. Why is there a statue standing there? And I see some red-crowned cranes around the statue. Is there any story?、Uh, this statue is、uh, a young girl named Xu Xiuquan. In nineteen eighty-six, she was、uh, invited to work here as a research of red-crowned cranes. She came to Yancheng along with three eggs of red crown cranes from northeast China, and kept the warmth of the eggs with her body temperature all the way here. However, just one year later, she got drowned in search of two lost swans in our reservoir. I'm so sorry to hear that. My deep and sincere respect goes to. People like Xu Xiuquan and you, because you are working under such a harsh environment. I mean, this reserve is 50 kilometers away from the downtown, quite a distance, and you have to stand with the strong sea wind and rain all the year through. So, but I'm happy to see that the younger generations like Zhang Tao are rushing here to pass on the torch of Xu and you. Yes, many young people. Are touched by her sprint,、uh, and our reservoirs are now、uh, had established as a education base for ecological protection. More than ten thousand students have paid visits to the education base in the first half. Of this year, we want her story to be known by more people, and thus to encourage them to participate in the protection of the nature. Yeah, I think it is meaningful to pass on Xu's spirit, generations by generations, right?
The Yantong Wetland Rebels National Nature Reserve is just one example of how China is shifting toward the green and sustainable development over the past few years while showing enough reverence for the nature. And I hope places like this can be emulated the world over. That's all for today's Xinhua. Bye for now.